Thank you for watching us on YouTube. But did you know that if you're on the go, you can get the full show as a podcast now? You can get our morning breakdown of the most important topics facing our country, news not being covered by the mainstream media, interviews with change-making progressives, and info on what you can actually do about all this. Search for The Damage Report on your favorite podcast app and subscribe so you know when new episodes are ready to go. The world was watching as Donald Trump went before the UN to represent our country and what is best in it and address them. So we have a couple of excerpts from his speech that we're gonna break down. The first though, I wanna show you the very beginning of his speech and how it was received from all of the dignitaries as he was announcing the success of America. In less than two years, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. And I would say I've seen him get bad responses before. I think he handled it okay for him. Yeah, yeah, he did. Although there was a little bit after the initial smiling and the joke about not expecting that response. Um, this is the sort of thing that for someone with a fairly severe narcissistic personality disorder like Donald Trump, uh, I'm shocked that missiles aren't in the air right now launched at Luxembourg or something yeah. like that. Well, it's um, also the, the president spoke before the United Nations General Assembly. And this is what people are going to remember, you know. That there no what he said afterwards about the Koreas, what he said about Syria. I mean, he set a real line in the sand on on Syria, saying that, uh, you know, if there if Assad uses chemical weapons, we are going in. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, he said strong stuff. But this is what people are going to remember because yeah. this is the president we have. Yeah, here's the, we've just become so normalized to the constant exaggeration. And look, exaggeration and rhetoric is the five hundred most significant thing that Donald Trump has done. It doesn't even merit real discussion, I guess. But I am just sick of it, that everything is the worst we've ever seen. We've never seen anything like it. It's more than people have ever talked about. And the, that room at the UN had hundreds and hundreds of people from around the world in it. All of them experienced in these sorts of things. These are people who are well educated, well traveled, have tons of life experience. And they're being talked to by one of the dullest, dimmest people in our country. That is ridiculous at a time when America needs to be not just involved in world affairs, but helping to lead the response to things like climate change. We need to have one of our best. And instead we have this person, I wouldn't trust him to scoop ice cream at Baskin Robbins. And he's representing the country in front of every other world, every other country in the world. And, and what, what's, what's cool about the, the, the moment when they laughed was there's this delay because they're all wearing headphones that they're translators. So it's being translated into you know Burmese and Vietnamese yeah. and Spanish and, and there's this delay and then they all laugh together mm -hmm. as, the, as soon as their translators are done. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.